Now, simple answer, no, it's not. Uh, selling fan art is not legal. So when I go and you type into Google, is selling fan art illegal? It pops up giving me the answer of the top thing on, um, on the Google page says, in a very long and drawn out way, the answer is, come. If you are creating fan art, whether for profit or not, any copyrighted character or use of trademark in a description or title without prior written consent from the copyright owner, then selling fan art is illegal. But making fan art is not illegal. So that's what Google says immediately. So. I'm just gonna sit here and have a little conversation with you guys and talking about fan art. Is selling fan art legal? I mean, you see it all the time, no matter where you seem to go, you see people selling fan art, um, especially at conventions, and it's just one of those topics, one of those things that I sit down and I seriously think about how. Like, how are you doing that? And maybe I myself am just so a little, I'm just so scared of legal ramifications of selling fan art and knowing my luck, I would want to sell fan art and then I would get caught selling fan art and then I would have a lawsuit against me because I wanted to sell something that I'm passionate about. So that's why I myself am not gonna sell fan art. I'm not gonna step it to, I'm not gonna dip my toes in that territory. It's one of the things that like, okay, this crosses a line. It deals with legalities. I'm not doing it. But you know, I can kind I see why. I see and totally understand why it's illegal. Because when you, when it comes down to it, when you break it down, when you're taking anything, anything without proper permission, and selling it, it basically is stealing. It's basically stealing. Although, I can still see why people like to do fan art and like to sell fan art, and I'm gonna use like two examples. So, when you have something that is a bigger franchise, a bigger franchise, you have people, so many people into that franchise, um, the bigger it gets, you kind of get a less tailored experience. And when I mean a tailored experience, it could be things like, um, I'll use Pokemon as an example. Pokemon is my biggest example. It's one reason why in this speed draw, I am drawing Pokemon in this speed draw. And also as well, I'm drawing a smaller franchise. At least it's smaller to me. It's never, definitely not as big as Pokemon, but yes, I'm drawing more has-been. I don't care, I'm a has-been fan and I love has-been and Vizipop, you're amazing. But I also love Pokemon and Pokemon is amazing. But back to Pokemon, it's such a bigger franchise. It's kind of be, it's so big that you get a less tailored experience. And what I mean by that is say you like a certain Pokemon. I personally, I'll just use mine. My favorite Pokemon is Articuno. I love that icy flying type bird. Ever since I saw it as a child, the just majestic grace and color scheme of that bird was like, mm, mm. it resonated with me deeply and I love it. However, I don't see a whole lot of things that are tailored to Articuno. I don't see a lot of cool official art of an Articuno. I don't see a lot of awesome, amazing official plushes that are Articuno. That, yeah, I definitely am that type of person where I will probably, if I see fan art of Articuno and it resonates with me and I like it, yeah, you bet your back pocket dollar I'm probably gonna put down some money for that and totally add it to my collections of art. But, it's such a big franchise that it's almost like, you know, you have people out there that are also passionate for this franchise or also like to make things for you that to you gives you that better tailored experience. You get to feel, it's like you get to feel more personally connected. So I understand that length of like selling fan art to something that maybe doesn't get as recognized as officially in the show. It could be a side character. It could be somebody in the background like a Pokemon. It could be a Pokemon that, you know, is a fan favorite, but maybe to the, you know, the smaller target audience is not so much a fan favorite. So it's really nice to be able to find things out there that are like, oh my goodness. I didn't think this could be, like, you know, this could be really, and I say tailored a lot, but I feel like that's the best word for it, 
this could really resonate with me and and be in my own nice little niche in click and I definitely am going to invest in it. And when you think about it, it's like you're so big that a lot of people who do fan art that I've like from my experience, I haven't gone to a whole bunch of conventions. I've only gone to like a few local ones in the past couple years. If I, I could count on one hand how many conventions I've been to, so I understand that a lot of people at these conventions are very small-time artists, and I can understand that why a lot of small-time artists would sell fan art because it's something that's recognizable, it's something that maybe a lot of these small-time artists could get income from, and, you know, being able to support and make a living off of it in some instances or some cases that I, on, on second accounts, have heard about, but I myself have never witnessed. Yet again, I mean, kudos to you guys if you guys are out there and you sell fan art and you have no qualms with it and somehow you just are able to slide under the radar and not get noticed in conventions and people just turn a blind eye like, oh yeah, whatever, that's fan art, but I'm not going to pay attention to it. They're totally selling it. Um, kudos to you guys. You guys have got some serious, you know, some serious brass balls. <laughs> Pardon my French, but oh my goodness, not me. Not me, not for me, and that is okay. I am more, a little bit more of a consumer. Yes, I'm not helping, the, I'm not helping the stigmatism because I'm kind of supporting that lifestyle. But I can see why people do it. That's what I'm talking about. It's, I can see why people will go and buy fan art because it's more of a personal, tailored experience. And with a franchise so big, and a lot of the people that do stand up, and a lot of people that do sell fan art are just, you know, tiny, you know, small time artists and stuff that just like making things. And if they manage to make a buck from it to help them support them in their lifestyle, I mean, it, it kind of is like. Uh, it, it's hard because I know that I understand how it hurts people but with something so big it's like how big are you really affecting this huge franchise like Naruto and Pokemon and so on and so forth but nevertheless long story short I myself will never sell fan art and I um I myself probably don't condone it just because I am a little bit terrified of technical legalities but you know we all buy it I've done it, I've got the pieces that have resonated with me, now I'm going to bring that into a smaller franchise so I can talk about how it can hurt people. If you sell fan art of a smaller franchise, I can see why it can hurt certain individuals. And for this example, yes, I'm using like Vipsy Pop and has been, and granted they're blowing up and they're getting, you know, they got A24 to help support them and everything. and and blah 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 etc <laughs> i can't i can't think of uh, the etc right now but i'm using that as an example of if you sold fan art of that franchise it's almost like um it's almost like you know uh i'll use their plushes for example they just released like their hell of a blo boss plushes and they also have um the angel dust and alistair plushes back in stock but that's official merch now, say another person out there also is doing these plush, plush commissions and they don't have permission from Vivzy Pop or whoever and they're making, you know, a buck off of it. It's almost like because they're a smaller franchise, you are taking some of the audience away from the official, like, releases of, for this instance, plushes and you're supporting this other person who is doing these commissions but in retrospect, it's like, yes, I understand trying to help that person, but at the same time, you're also hurting the small-time creator because you're taking away attention from the official release of something. So, again, that's where I see it can hurt. Like, you know, I can see why it's illegal because if you don't have permission for it and you're basically, you know, quote-unquote, basically stealing and making a buck off of it, and it can hurt people in the end, especially, especially small-time artists. And I'll even use myself as an example. Like, recently, uh, the past couple of weeks or so, I went out and I commissioned a whole bunch of artists to draw my characters, which was such an exhilarating and fun experience, and I'll be talking about that probably some other time. But seeing some of these people draw my characters, it, it was like kind of that thought in the back of my head of, 
What if people just drew my own characters that I have for stories that I'm trying to get out there, and they just made a buck off of it? And they were like making buko bucks off of my characters. Like I personally, I'm so small, I'm so itty bitty, I would be very hurt from it. I mean, it's, ugh, it's such a hard and touchy soft, it's, yeah, yeah. it's such a hard and touchy subject. And at the end of the day, when I sit here and I think about fan art and I think about selling it like big franchise versus little franchise, I just, in the terms of a big franchise, I almost wish there was, I wish there was a way to sell fan art legally. When I sit here and I think of play, like, you know, um, franchises that are just so big, just so huge, I almost wish there was a way that, like, you could have a way to contact these people on an official site or something. You could submit your pieces online, like maybe not the full high res resolution for it, just in case if they decide to take it for themselves, because you never know if somebody who's going to be underhanded, some official corporate person up there is like, ooh, this fan art of our series is pretty good. Well, nobody knows about this small time auto, so we're just going to take this and do it for our own, which is really sad if that happened. Ugh, man so terrible but I wish there was a way in like um latent terms and a way a system that everything functions without having a hitch um that you could submit online you could go through a process to the official franchise and basically get the okay from them to be like hey I like this piece I like what you do yes you have my permission to sell this fan art piece now, I also understand why that would also cause, like, a, you know, that would mean there would be a lot of people submitting to this place to be like, hey, can I sell this fan art? And that would take a lot of, like, other man hours to sort through so much art because people make so much art of something. Like, I can only imagine, like, how many submissions a day, say, Nintendo got for Pokemon and they're like, holy biscuits, we can't say yes to everybody. But even if, like, maybe they held a contest or something, being like, hey, make fan art for our stuff, and the first uh, five people, the first five places, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, will have the okay for them to go out there and, and sell this and kind of make a profit off of it. And, you know, and of course it's like, you know, maybe cut a deal or something, you know, and of course you think of royalties, and I, I just... I understand that 50-50 is like a good idea, but for franchises that are so big, I personally would do, I personally wish that the franchises would like lend a hand to smaller time artists and maybe instead of that, they'd be like, hey, we only get maybe 25 or 10% of the profit you make from this fan art piece and you get the other, you get the bigger half because they aren't, they should, it would be so supportive and that's what I love. I would love the idea of bigger places being so supportive of little people being like, hey, we recognize that you are passionate about our things, about our stuff, about our product. We recognize that and we're going to let you have a portion, the biggest portion of um, the profit because we understand that you are just one person, an individual artist, trying to make your ends meet, so on and so forth. I feel, I just... That damns with me, that vibes with me. It'd be so nice if something like that could happen. So when I think about selling fan art, I wish there was a way to do it legally. Like some type of system, something. It would be just, ah, oh, ah. Oh, it would be so nice if they could just reach out and be like, hey, we give you permission to do it. But no, instead they're just like, nope, you can't sell any fan art. You can't do it, it's illegal, you're stealing our stuff. And because of those legalities, because of that, that is why, in the end, I myself, I'm not gonna sell fan art unless I have permission. Now, it's kind of, it's just, and that's hard. That's really difficult. I mean, props to those of you out there that decide to make that judgment call, and you decide to step over that line and, and just go for it. I mean, I can't, I'm not about to sit here and shame you for it, but I also feel like, um, I want to say that those out there that are doing it also understand that it's kind of illegal. I, I, at least I hope so. Now, I understand that, the, you know, maybe some young artists, very young, starting out, maybe they don't know. And that can be, you know, forgiven because you just start out and you don't know. But somebody that's as old as me, and I am like, you know, I'm like two, almost two years away from being 30. 
So somebody as old as me should definitely understand. If you sell fan art, you also understand that technically it's illegal. So you gotta, I hope that you put that thought in your back pocket. But otherwise, I myself, I'm just, I'm not gonna do it unless I have permission. And I doubt Nintendo is gonna rain from the heavens and be like, Oh, yes, Sakemi, we just love your art so much that we're gonna give you permission to sell it. Mm, yes, please, we just love it so much. Please give us that free advertising or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I doubt Vivzy Pop is gonna rain from the heavens and be like, I like what you do, and you can go ahead and sell works of my Aspen Hotel characters. I doubt that's gonna happen. The be pretty awesome if it did, but I doubt that would happen. And in the end, I think just being a fan myself is just, to me, that's enough. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you think about selling fan art? Like, do you ever feel, like, for those of you that have made fan art and are selling it, do you feel, like, a sense of, sh do you, what do you feel? Like, do you feel accomplished for it? Do you kind of feel a little bit iffy? Do you kind of know that it's illegal, but you do it anyway? Like, there's so many gray areas, and I just, I want to expand upon those areas. I want to know, please, please, please inform me. What are your thoughts? What are your ideas? What are your, like, um, just... Just please, just please tell me. I, I, I'm forgetting words here because I'm so excited, but how do you guys do it? Like, how do you, how do you make that step over? And I guess I'm just, I myself am a little bit of a scaredy cat, especially when there's like legal stuff coming into play and I immediately am like, oh, 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 oh no. Oh no, I better tread lightly. But yeah, I'm, I'm totally scared of the legalities. All right, but I think I've rambled long enough about selling fan art. Yes, at the end of the day, it is illegal, but does it stop people from doing it and from making it? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't stop people from doing it and making it. And I see it can be a good thing because for places that are so big, it kind of gives more of that personal experience into a certain franchise. Like a certain character that hasn't been, you know, you know, show, has enough screen time or like you know a certain monster or creature that you don't see enough and you get to have like that piece that feels it's, just, it's a feely good feel i have like um i have legend of zelda artwork and one of these pieces they're fan art but one of these pieces is just so beautiful for me and it resonates with me and it's kind of like epona a silhouette of epona running across um, the field, and you see this beautiful lit up night sky above um, Epona and Link, and then there's the little glowing ball of Navi in the background. But that just resonated with me. I love it. I love it so much. And yet, I would not be able to find that kind of artwork online. And so, yes. Oh, my goodness. I rambled on long about this, and I had fun talking about this, and I, I really wish there was a way that we could sell fan art without having the huge, big slappage of the stop sign on all of us, because I feel like a lot of people who do make fan art are passionate about that, and I think you can kind of see that in their artworks. You can kind of tell when somebody is passionate about this thing that they drew fan art for, versus somebody who is clearly just sketching this up just to make a buck. And I really want to, I really wish I could support those people that also share the same passion that I have. And it's so difficult because legalities get in the way and it's unfortunate. But I will go ahead, I gotta stop, I gotta stop rambling on and on and on because I'm just, I just love talking to you guys, I miss talking to you guys. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Give it a like, comment, subscribe. Please, please, please be sure to hit that notification bell. Sorry, I just decided to break out in a song. Please hit that notification bell if you want to have the updates as soon as I upload immediately. You will know about it. And be sure to check out my other socials below, like DeviantArt, which is the place for the arts, and Instagram, which is another place of arts, but also photos and crafts, and then of course Twitter, where I am mostly active, where I just talk about random things, things that I am vibing with, 
and and I feel like that's the best way I can interact with other communities and other people. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, everybody, be awesome, be you, Akemi, out.